If you opt to study Art and Design GCSE at Broad Oak Academy, you will be taught a range of skills and processes, from refining your drawing techniques to painting with watercolour, acrylics, printing methods, pastel work, collage and 3D sculptural work, as well as photography. You will research a range of artists to help you develop ideas into high quality final outcomes that will be displayed and showcased. If you are someone that is interested in any form of creative pathway, art and design will provide you with a wide range of skills that can be applied to any art discipline. For the art and design course, you will produce two portfolios of work, unit one, which is is your coursework and unit two the exam. We will explore a few different project briefs and in year 10 we will focus on building up skills and developing high quality outcomes. In year 11 you will focus on developing ideas through a project and you will be encouraged to interpret the given theme in your own way. You will produce a personal and original response independently. Drawing and written annotations are essential requirements for both units of the course. Unit 1, which is the coursework, makes up 60% of your overall GCSE grade and this we will focus on throughout the whole of Year 10 and part of Year 11. The exam is the remaining 40% and you will be given your exam paper in January of Year 11, so Terms 3 uh, and 4, you will focus on producing an exam portfolio and then you will sit your 10 hour practical exam around April time. Assessment. You will be assessed on four key areas. AO1, which is all about research and the contextual sources that you investigate. So it's about developing ideas through investigations, demonstrating critical understanding of sources. And you will do this through artist research, analysis of artist work, mind mapping, mood boards, and any other form of research that you take. Assessment Objective 2 is all about refining your work by exploring ideas, selecting and experimenting with appropriate media, materials, techniques and processes. So you will test out a range of many different media to explore your ideas and help you with your development. Assessment Objective 3 is all about recording of ideas observations and insights relevant to intentions as work progresses. So you will do lots of drawing and that could be in the form of painting, collage, any kind of recording. You will take photographs and you will also develop some initial ideas that will build and lead on to developed ideas. Assessment Objective 4 is all about you presenting a personal and meaningful response that realises intentions and demonstrates understanding of visual language. So you will use all the research, the drawings, the experiments, the ideas that you have created to produce a really high quality final outcome and we will showcase this in our end of year creative showcase. Each assessment objective is worth 25% of your overall marks. For the art exam, you will receive an exam paper at the beginning of term three. You will then be given about 10 weeks to respond to this theme by producing a portfolio of work covering assessment objective one, two, and three. The actual tested exam itself will be sat in exam conditions around April time where you will produce um, a response as a final outcome that, that will take two days off timetable in the art room where you will just produce a final piece that's practical. There is no written exam involved in art. You will demonstrate all the skills you have acquired and demonstrate the knowledge that you have gained over the two years in the final Unit 2 exam project. Commitment is key to taking on this course, but if you are someone that has an eye for creativity, a wealth of ideas, and a passion for being practical, then art and design may be the right pathway for you.